Hello and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial I'm going to show how to machine the top and underside of a project in one program. As you can see we have uh, this project is set up. I already have a pocketing routine for this star and you can see our G54 coordinate system is set up in this upper left hand corner. So I'll go ahead and just simulate the, the star pocket. Okay. Now we want to flip this over and machine the pocket on the back side. So we will right click and flip, dynamically rotate the part so that we're upside down. And we still want to use this corner to be our reference. This is like if you were going to flip over uh, a part in a vise and have a, a G55 over on the left part of the vise and a G54 uh, on the left side of the vise and a 55 on the right side of the vise. So now we're going to go up to this little drop down arrow here over by the CS coordinates and we're going to pick creation of CS by setting starting point CS and direction of X and Y axes. So click that. Want to make sure that smart snap is on. We're going to snap to this corner. And we're going to point the X axis over here and click and point the Y axis over here and click. And now we have set up a new local coordinate system one. So in order to pocket this routine, what we're going to do is come over to pocketing and click copy and then paste. And we will go to our job assignment tab and we're going to clear out what the job assignment is in there. Now we're going to click on base surface and we're going to set our base surface to be this bottom side of the part that is now our top side. Click OK. And we are going to go and with our edge selection tool on, go around the outside of this and click all the edges. going to go over and click add a pocket and now we're going to pick this center circle click add a boss all right and here's where the magic happens so that it'll, everything will happen from this side you can see that the cutter is on the underside of the part right now from the previous uh, operation what we're going to do is click on setup we're going to go to workpiece setup, highlight that, click these three dots here. We're going to pick local CS1, click OK. Now we're going to go to workpiece CS, click the three dots, click on local CS1, and we're going to go down and name this coordinate system G55, click OK. And we're going to click on local CS and pick local CS1. Now we will run this program. And you'll see in the simulation, slow it down a little bit, the cutter will come over onto the right side, be represented correctly uh, on the back side of this part. We'll speed it up just a little bit going to pocket out that and leave that island in there. All right. So now we're back in our machining tab and what we'll do is we'll go to our post processor. We're going to use the the PCNC master post rev 1.1 or now rev 1.2 is available. And we're going to click run. And it already exists cuz I tested it out and we'll click yes. And you can see that the first part of this pocket is a G54. And when we go down to the 
second part, we have a G55. Now, a good thing to do would be to click in this second pocketing routine. And even though we're, we're going to have the exact same cutter, if we give it a different tool number, we'll give it tool number 2, click OK. Now let's repost it. And you can see, oh, sorry about that. I have to run it first. Try to speed up the flag there. All right, we will repost it. And now, when we repost the project, G54 is for tool number one. And what we actually get now is before you start the second half of the program, the cutter will go up to the tool change position for a Tormach machine. And um, then you would be able to, it would pause, and then you would be able to flip over the part during that pause before you changed, went to tool number two. You would just make, have to make sure that the height offsets for tool one and tool two were the same. So... That has been how to flip over a part and machine two sides in one program. I hope you enjoyed it.